But one of the things that we want to take away from this is an opportunity for airports to see what's real, what's happening today when it comes to intelligent aprons or digitalized aprons. So that we're not talking about things that are five or 10 years out in the future, but we're talking about things that they can start thinking about and planning for today. I underestimated the amount of value a program like this could bring. Uh, when you look at it from a sustainability perspective, the ability to optimize and reduce the time aircraft are taxing to and from the gate. That's real uh, cost savings, that's real fuel savings that, that airports and airlines are very interested in. There's safety implications, there's passenger experience implications. The ability to automate the processes at the ramp directly impact the customer experience. One thing I would say is airports here in the U.S. need a bit of catching up on technology compared to airports elsewhere. DFW taking this position, being one of the first ones to trial, is demonstrating that, look, we are here, we are willing to take the risks, we are demonstrating what can be done, what can't be done, and that will give an opportunity to other, for other airports to learn from all what they're seeing over here and then use it directly at the airports. And I mean, I've never been in an industry where both the customer side, the airports in this case, and the vendor side, you know, the other business partners, uh, work so well together. And so it's a case where we're bringing in multiple companies, all working towards the same thing, all working kind of agnostically, trying to, to solve problems together with the airports who use it. It's a lot of fun doing it this way, so that's been very refreshing.